Endangered species on Long Island have seen an unprecedented amount of human contact during the pandemic. As park and beachgoer attendance goes up, so does concern for wildlife. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports. Long Island beaches are still frigid, but soon nesting shoreline birds, including piping plovers, will return. This small spit of North Shore land called Hobart Beach is home to a colony of endangered birds, a stopover during migration. A number of shorebirds uh, breed here and, and nest here and raise their young. And they're looking for peace and quiet, but the pandemic hasn't helped. There was a lot more people out here last year than usual. I think it was people were kind of cooped up in their houses, but that affects the shorebirds. Fencing ignored, trespassers a constant problem. Fishermen would walk around the fence, boaters would pull up and, you know, either camp or spend the day. Unaware, perhaps, they were trampling eggs. They look like pebbles in the sand. People don't realize the um, nests are camouflaged, and even when you're walking, you could step on the eggs and not even realize it, and then kill off generations of the birds. So now the town of Huntington is making it abundantly clear that this is a protected breeding ground. Fencing will be installed to the waterline from April through August so that boaters know this is not a place to bring dogs, picnic, or fish. The dogs were stepping and eating the eggs. People didn't realize that they couldn't walk across, uh, and they were stepping on them. There are only 400 pairs of piping plovers on Long Island, and the number of common turns has plummeted. Beachwalkers told us they're okay to give up a small section for wildlife. We have all this all the way around, so we don't need to go out there. At wider beaches, you'll see fencing around nesting areas and will be asked to stay away. Here you won't be asked, you'll be warned, and repeat offenders will be fined. In Eaton's Neck, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.